taking the old pattern and fitting it to this side so I can get uh, my covering to fit. You can see right here, I need to take this out just a little bit. Here a little bit, so let's take a little bit of that out. And we'll go cut it, come back and try it. Alright, it's close. It's getting good all the way down through here, so that's where it'll go. A little bit here, but what I'll do is I'll just make that a smooth curve. When you're making patterns, every step of the way, you want to make each step, the next step, better to get to your final product. So it looks good all the way down. And this is all going to be covered up with cabinets on this side anyway. On this other side, it's going to be open. So I want a decent fit there. This is going to be my wardrobe up here and the composting toilet is down here that you pull out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I can mark it and get ready to cut the piece to go up here. using the old pattern in conjunction with the new frame I marked the inside when it was up on in the bus so I know exactly where to place this on the frame to get me my contour here so now I just have to line everything up to the bottom here line up over there It's always nice to have a nice straight edge here. Cut it and stick it on there, it'll be ready to go. Just have to make one for the other side. Just smoothing the edge up a little bit. And 
think it's ready to install. Alright, here's the frame that I built out on the table. I've got some hard points in it right here. There will be a, a shelf going across here, over to here. This will be my wardrobe. My wardrobe will hang here, down almost to that shelf. And I have it attached to the bottom. It screws into the three-quarter ply. And up here, I have it attached to the metal roof. The supports here with some angle brackets. So it's not going anywhere. I'm getting ready to put on the skins, glue them, and uh, I'm gonna brad nail those, fill the holes, sand it, and clear coat it. All right, coming in with the skin. And it's all fitted. Over here. My room is getting smaller and smaller as I put more stuff in here. So what I'm going to do now is put glue on all the surfaces. Once I do that and nail it, it becomes one solid piece and nowhere near as flexible. Side is in. You can see the accuracy. And my supervisor sleeping on the job. Then I'll put some aluminum angles on this edge. Plus, actually, I'm going to have a face frame here. So, face frame over here to here. The shelf will be down here. My toilet slide in and out here. I don't have a double decker slide out in and out here. So just gotta come back and trim off this little bit of excess with the router. And that section's done and it's it's stiffens up a lot. Once the glue dries it'll be even stiffer. So on to the next section. More work getting done. Here's the start of the Spice cabinet, utility cabinet for the kitchen area. So starting to get that. Let's see, and here's the finished panel. Right here. Now I've got to put the face frame on it, of course. Looks pretty nice. And it's gotten sturdy. But once I put the face frame on it, it'll be very sturdy and very, very lightweight. Here's the start of this one. The two walls. And then I'll put this wall in, but I'm not sure where I'm going to have the doors yet. So I may leave this wall pretty open and put my rails in after I get the countertop in here, so I'll know where it goes. So I just took final measurements from here to the bed area, and my four inch clearance so I can pivot the bed. And now I'll go in and modify all my drawings to match. That's why I do the front and the back, and save the middle for last because I get exact measurements. There's no fudging. Alright, tomorrow I'll be doing this wall, finishing up the, the composting toilet, 
and maybe starting this face frame here. I think I'm going to modify that section over there though. I'm not sure just yet. I'm almost 100% sure I'm going to get rid of that air conditioner because the front one, when you turn it on full, you can feel it all the way in the back. And yet I still have a fantastic fan to go up into here. That window is sticking quite a bit and I fixed that. Um, I've still got to tint that window with some 50% and the driver's window with some 50%. That'll keep some of that sun ice. I just wish I had the uh, top window sections that opened. But on this side, the cabinet's going to go all the way from the floor to the upper cabinets here, so those will be covered anyway. And I'll have about a quarter of these windows covered up with a cabinet and a backsplash. So it doesn't matter. I can still see out. Got tons of view out those three windows while I'm lying in bed. So it's coming together. It's starting to look like my drawings. That's a good thing. Are you dizzy yet? <laughs> All right, I'll try to keep telling myself to slow the pans down. All right, talk to you later. Sitting here on the steps, making a pattern that curve which will go all the way to the ceiling and it will come all the way across to here and this will be my electrical bay okay pattern is made right up to there and that's just a side pattern to get that edge and I know right down there I need 18 and a half inches mm -hmm. 